If you're stuck in a creative rut, one of the best ways out of it is to use a different tool. If your piano roll or MIDI controller aren't leading you in new directions, how about trying out a dedicated sequencer plugin to generate ideas you wouldn't otherwise have come up with? Monoplug's B-Step CM is just such a plugin, and it's free with every issue of CM. Load any instrument plugin in your door. We're going for Cable Guy's Curve 2 CM. And load up B-Step CM to serve as its MIDI input. In Reaper, it's as simple as choosing a MIDI InFX plugin as the input on the Curve 2 channel. If you don't know how your door handles MIDI routing, check out its manual or our other tutorials this issue. Program a sequence into B-Step CM's upper rows and columns and start playback in your door to hear Curve 2 triggered by B-Step CM. Experiment with the sequence for a while. This different way of working leads you to create music in a slightly unconventional way and you're more likely to come up with something new already. Those same four notes are getting old, so click the pencil icon next to the chord set selector. Here we can select which four notes make up the chord that the sequencer plays. Here's an A minor 7th chord. If a column's box is ticked, we can also select a ready-made chord to define the notes. You can fill the ticked slot with a random target chord from the scale selected at the bottom left, or you can do that for every single chord. There are plenty of scales to choose from. Remember, the chord that's currently playing is the fourth one. We get to choose which chord is playing using the bar chord selector. But that selects the chord for just one bar. We can activate more bars by right clicking and dragging from the leftmost select copy button. Drag it through to the fourth step. This copies the sequence to the other three slots and starts us cycling between the four. Now we can choose other bar chord values for the next three selectors to get a progression going.
few ways to set octaves. For notes in a bar, for entire bars, individual steps in the step tab. Again, you can copy and paste values by right-clicking and dragging. For now, we'll deactivate the last three bars and just cycle the first one. Back in the main tab, it's time to choose a different step duration for certain steps and tweak some step velocities too. Our percussive patch doesn't pay much attention to note length though, so we'll mess with just the velocities. If we copy the bar across to the other four, by right clicking and dragging as usual, the velocity and duration changes will go along with it. Let's tweak the sequences themselves in the different bars by selecting that bar at the bottom of the interface. If this quick B-step CM session has kicked off an idea, you can record it to MIDI and start using or refining it. If you like this way of working, click BSTEPCM's bottom left star icons to uncover the rabbit hole. Here you've got whacked out things like step probability, start position, repeat options and loads more to get creative with.